Speaking of Aaron Judge, you know, one thing we love to talk about is the New York Yankees, because why not? Because he's a he's a Mets fan, so we should talk about the Yankees more often than the Mets, because the Mets are the Mets. The New York Yankees. So, James, here's a question for you, and this is an important question in baseball, this important question with marketing and TV. Does Major League Baseball need a New York Yankees, a Los Angeles Dodgers World Series? Absolutely. They should be oh, licking come on. their chops, come on. begging. No. Come on. You have East versus West. You have American versus Foreigner. You have the guy who hits the most American home runs. versus Foreigner, James. That is, uh, can you? Can we say that? Of course we can say it. He's a foreigner. He's not from this country, Otani. Yeah, but half the rosters are foreigners. Okay, but you're still talking about an American versus a non-American. Half the rosters are non-American. Every roster is not a James Soto. Not even a man. Come on. But it's America's pastime. It makes a difference. Okay. It's not the Dominicans pastime. James. I can't, I can't win with you. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. But I get what you're saying. You got, you got Aaron Judge. You got uh, Otani. You, you got the two MVP. Like, you literally have the two MVPs versus each other. Yeah. And that's a yeah. big deal. You know, you, you're talking about how to energize the game. I, I mean, we debate it all the time. Who's better, Otani or Judge? Think about a World Series where you get to you get to determine that. Then you get to see what these two guys will do when they're under the lights, under the pressure. I'm dying to see it. I just need Otani to be coming out of the bullpen to close out Game 7 of the World Series in Dodger Stadium against judge the last at bat <laughs> just another little notch in his hat uh you like big did it against uh trout did it against judge how about that what if the ninth inning i'm just gonna say what if the ninth inning he steps up and the dodgers are up by one and he's got or, or they're going into extra innings they're up by one runner on second base whatever it is and you've got uh Soto stepping up the plate. You got Aaron Judge stepping plate, and you got Giancarlo Stanton. But they, for some reason, I don't know why, Aaron Boone's like stands for Judge's five. So Judge is the last batter that he faces. How absolutely epic would that be? But you know, in all reality, it's going to be a pinch hitter at probably you know for Giancarlo Stanton. So you, you know what I would do if I was in that situation. I'm glad you brought up the Otani uh, pitching, which I'll get back to in one second. But <laughs> it, um, considering that the Yankees have two players with an OPS plus over 100 right now, I just walk Soto and Judge and I let Otani pitch to everybody else because nobody else in that lineup can hurt you. Right. That's that's so true. I mean, Soto, looking at it right now, almost has an OPS plus of uh, almost 200, which is an absolutely insane. And again, if you're watching the show, you don't know OPS plus. OPS plus is your OPS, okay, on base plus slugging against the league so 100 makes you completely average which is um jazz chisholm which is what they traded for in the big trade sorry completely average player and anything above that is they're basically so an ops plus of 186 that soto has right now that's 86 percent better than the rest of the league and judges 130 percent better <laughs> than the rest of the league which is insane you're the pitching guru if Otani right now is throwing bullpens. Theoretically, yes. can he be ready for the World Series to come in out of the out of the bullpen? Oh, theoretically, yes. So back at, this was 2010. Yes, he would be pitching in that last game. He would be throwing. He'd already be in simulated games. He'd be throwing innings in minor leagues. He'd be doing a minor league stint. This this was exactly my trajectory. Um, I had a little setback and that stopped me, but he hasn't had a setback that we know of, but most of the time you'd be back within 12 months pitching and he had, he had surgery, I think before the season was over with last year, right? I think in August or September he had surgery. Something like that. I'm, I, yeah. So he would be right there on the edge, the cusp, he would be available. And the fact that he's already on the roster right and able to pitch, he would be available. So, so that would be normal now though they've pushed the timelines back a little bit which absolutely sucks i get it health whatever but um he might miss it that would suck but he could be on it because you gotta think he's got all he's got the rest of august 
He's got September and he's got October, and he could have three weeks in October before the World Series. Theoretically, in all reality, he could be ready. And to just throw an inning, the problem is it's a lot of stress on your first uh, their first inning. But either way, could you imagine those two teams? I get it. The Dodgers versus the Yankees would be an incredible World Series. That's in a World Series we all want because, I mean, outside, unless you're a fan base of anybody else, but because of just how massive that would be how big it would be for the game. Now, at the same time, I don't think Major League Baseball right now needs it. I think Major League Baseball is actually in a really good spot. I think they're they're getting more engagement than they've got had a long time. Um, social media-wise, I think they're doing a very good job of promoting the game more. They need to do a better job of promoting players. We've talked about this a lot. They still need to be doing a better job at that. But they're doing a really good job of, of, of getting it out there, getting the game. I, I'm seeing the game more often um, on, on everything. But I'll say this, man. There are some other great teams out there. I mean, I, I want the Dodgers or a West Coast team um, just for the how big that would be, Dodgers-Yankees type of thing. Um, just because, I mean, we've seen Houston so much. We've seen, I'd like a different team. But Philly is a great team. Atlanta's getting better. And you know if they get healthy and just figure it out, they're going to be a good team. Oh, don't, don't shake your head. Because if they figure it out, Atlanta's they've fun. been a World Series contender and a World Series champion every year basically so i'm not going to count them out yet dimebacks are playing incredible baseball the best baseball of everybody and they for all these power rankings that keep putting the dimebacks like six or something they're you're absolutely crazy cuz nobody's playing better baseball and that's my problem with power rankings like they 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 are behind the best record of baseball by three games and that's the dodgers and they were like 15 or whatever 10 games back not long ago so they're the best team in baseball right now. They're playing. Let me put this. They're playing the best in baseball right now. Padres are right there, too. And then you're looking at um, Milwaukee. I mean, Houston's playing okay. They're, they're still going to be in it. And then you're looking at the Central's kind of falling apart besides the Royals. And then you got the the Orioles and the Yankees. I wouldn't mind Orioles. Orioles Dodgers would be a lot of fun. Yep. Um, Orioles Diamondbacks would be like a whole new turning pay of the page in baseball. You know that would be insane. The amount of like young players in that in that game, you know that they're kind of taking over. But again, I, I get it. Baseball would not be the world would not be watching that. The world would be watching the Yankees versus the Dodgers.